consider the, some of the greatest human needs that we see around us, poverty, crime, drugs, addiction, it's quite a wonder what is the church's response? Now where do we go with this? What, how does the church respond to real needs that we see? Is it just simply to go in and just to hand out money and, and food? And, and it's certainly something that we ought to be doing and scripture certainly commands us to, to provide, provide that. Isaiah 58 certainly instructs us that there's gotta be more than just worship. We've gotta have responses. But I wonder if it's our response is it not the church? Is, is it not the preaching of the gospel? Is that not to be our response when we look at these great real human needs? Maybe our response is to be starting new churches in these communities. Churches that preach the gospel, gospel that, that is by its very nature sets us free from the things that, that are holding us, the things that are holding us in chains. I'm from Scotland and my heart is, is very much for ministry in Scotland and I see poverty and, and crime and, and people addicted and, and caught up in, and trapped often in, in that lifestyle. And, and see, the solution has got to be the church. And so where is the church? A good friend of mine, Mess McConnell, is pastor of Nidri Community Church, and he's got a wonderful ministry and a great church that's doing phenomenal things there. And Mess and I have partnered together and we've developed a ministry called 20 Schemes. Our vision is simple, gospel churches for Scotland's poorest. Because we understand that that is our response. That is the church's response to poverty. That is the church's response to crime. That is the church's response to drug and alcohol addiction. It's raising up new churches. And so our vision is to plant 20 churches in 20 urban housing schemes in Scotland. It's a big vision. It's gonna take us recruiting 20 men to go and be these church planters. Maybe, maybe God's calling you to be one of them. We wanna raise up 20 female outreach workers, women who who develop relationships with other women on those schemes, who move in and befriend them. Maybe you're one of those women. We want to raise up guys, men who will come alongside them and be a part of these church planting teams to get alongside some young teenagers and, and young men in those schemes to proclaim the gospel. Maybe you're one of those ministry apprentices. We want to raise up a great partnership of churches who will say, yeah, I'm committed to do that. I want to see our church plant a church in those Scottish housing schemes. Well, let's do this together. It's going to be hard. It's going to be costly. It's going to take a big commitment. It's going to take some sacrifice. But I believe that we will see 20 churches emerging in these 20 urban housing schemes in Scotland. And I want you to come and join us. Mm -hmm.